Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss linear and nonlinear SVM with the help of simple examples. Before we go with the linear and nonlinear SVM, first we will understand uh, what is SVM classifier. SVM stands for uh, support vector machine. It is one of the widely utilized supervised machine learning algorithm, which is used to solve both classification as well as regression tasks. Classification means uh, given a target has a discrete number of possibilities like a yes or no. Regression task means the target contains the continuous uh, values. But usually the SVM or support vector machine is used to solve the classification problems in machine learning. Now we will discuss the working principle of uh, SVM classifier. Given the data set with multiple number of classes, uh, in this case we have been given a data set with uh, two classes. One is represented with uh, red circles, another one with the green triangles here. The task of SVM classifier is to identify or find an hyperplane which can segregate the data into two classes here. In this case, I have drawn a straight line with black color. This particular straight line will classify the data into two classes here. So this is called as one hyperplane. Similarly, we can draw another hyperplane uh, like this one. This uh, line can segregate the given data into multiple number of classes uh, here. But the question comes in front of us is uh, how can we select the best hyperplane between the two hyperplanes here? Whether this one is good or this one is the good hyperplane or the best hyperplane here. So for that reason, we need to consider something known as the margin here. So what is margin? Margin is the distance between the hyperplane and the closest point on either side here. For example, if I consider this hyperplane, which is drawn in black color, for this hyperplane, this is the data point, uh, nearest data point on one side, and this is the another nearest data point on another side here. Now, what we need to do is we need to calculate the perpendicular distance here. So, this is the perpendicular distance. So, this distance is called as what? The margin on either side of the data set here. Let's say that uh, this margin is uh, A here. Now, what we need to do is similarly, we have to calculate the margin for the second uh, hyperplane here for that is uh, the one which is drawn in red color. For this one, uh, this is the nearest data point on green side and this is again the nearest data point on the red side here. Again, we have to calculate the perpendicular distance. This is the perpendicular distance and this is the perpendicular distance. So, this is the margin for the second hyperplane or the hyperplane which is drawn in red color. For this one, uh, we will say that uh, the margin is equal to B here. Now, if you compare the margin A and B, the margin A is more than the margin B here. The meaning of this one is uh, between these two hyperplanes, the hyperplane which is drawn in black color is the best one because we are getting maximum margin in this case. So, what we need to do in SVM classifier is we need to draw all possible hyperplanes and then we need to calculate the margin. The hyperplane with the maximum margin will be considered as the best hyperplane to classify the given data set into multiple number of classes here. So this is how the SVM classifier works. Now we will discuss uh, the different types of uh, SVM classifier. There are mainly two types of SVM uh, algorithms we have. One is known as uh, linear SVM. That is uh, whenever we have uh, input data which is linearly separable, then we can use uh, linear SVM here. You can notice that in this uh, diagram, in this case, uh, the data set contains two classes. One is represented with a red circle, another one is represented with a green circle. Uh, we can draw a straight line so that we can classify or divide this data into two classes here. So, whenever we have been given such kind of data, we can apply linear SVM here. Now, coming back to the second uh, type of SVM that is known as a non-linear SVM. Whenever the input data is not linearly separable, if you look at this data set, Again, it has two classes. One is represented with red circle, another one with uh, green circle here. But in this case, we cannot draw a straight line to classify this data into two classes here. That is not at all possible. So that's the reason uh, such kind of uh, support vector machine is called as non-linear SVM here. We cannot draw a straight line to classify this data set into two classes here. Now the question comes in front of us is how to solve such kind of problem. So what we can do in this case is uh, whenever such kind of data is given, that is non-linearly separable data, uh, we need to increase the dimension here. For example, right now we have been uh, given a two-dimensional data, that is x and y. We need to add one more dimension, that is the z here, so that we can convert this uh, non-linearly separable data into linearly separable data here. Now the question comes in front of us is how to calculate the value of this z here. 
Now to calculate the value of z, there are multiple number of kernels are available. We can use any of those uh, kernels so that we can convert the non-linearly separable data into linearly separable data. I have already discussed the kernel trick in SVM. Link for those videos is given in the description below. So in this case, I will show you one example that is uh, the value of z can be calculated using this formula that is z is equal to x square plus uh, y square here. So whenever you uh, apply this formula to each and every data point, uh, the data set looks something like this. This is the x and this is the z here. That's a new dimension. And uh, you can notice here the non-linearly separable data is converted into linearly separable data here. Now, once the data is converted into linearly separable, we can draw a straight line as a hyperplane so that we can divide this data into two classes over here. So, whenever we have been given non-linearly separable data, first we need to convert that data into linearly separable and then we can draw an hyperplane so that uh, uh, we can classify the data into multiple number of classes here. So, in this video, I have discussed what is a support vector machine and what are the different type of uh, support vector machine algorithms are there. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.